Ashley, Sanyong, Musso, Pick Up Truck arrive on the grid for their rolling start lap. Just to confirm the results of that earlier race, number two, Harry Webb was the winner. Second was number 42, Matt Kelly. Third was number seven, James Gornall. Fourth, number 84, Gavin Pell. And fifth was number 50, Glenn Rosser. The winner's time was 50 minutes, 11.893 seconds. 50 minutes, 11.893 seconds. The gap of the flag between Harry Webb and Matt Kelly, 2.940 seconds, 2.940 seconds. Uh, they completed 12 laps and the speed 77.71 miles an hour, 77.71 miles an hour. And the fastest lap was set by number two, Harry Webb, which is why he's on pole position, not because he won the earlier race, because he's set the fastest lap. 1 minute 14.771, 1 minute 14.771 seconds is 78.98 miles an hour, 78.98 MPA. And the group of the as I say, based upon the driver's best lap in the earlier race. So Matt Kelly, who finished second, had the second best lap anyway, James Gornall had the third best lap, finished third, but Louis Strong and Michael O'Brien were the next two along, Louis being slightly quicker than Michael, uh, whether either of them will get onto the podium this race without uh, making contact, we'll have to wait to see, but certainly Michael O'Brien was leading until that clash with Louis Strong at top in, at the uh, top corner, part way through. In fact, they did eight, eight laps, so on the, it's on the ninth lap that they Clash of tops. Well, you heard of the, if you were listening to uh, when uh, Mark was speaking to uh, Matt Kelly on the podium, how much he'd enjoyed the rough and tumble of James Gordon, likewise. James Gordon, British GT champion from 2008. Matt Kelly, former British saloon car and national saloon cup, or the group N saloon, he was very successful in those. Also, raced the PBR Tuscan Challenge. Uh, Raced in a lot of different categories over the years, Matt Kelly. Doesn't make so much these days. So here they come then. Led through the field. So it's Harry Webb, who also races in the NSA Formula 4 Championship. So makes uh, one of the up and coming young drivers in single seaters. But Harry Webb and Matt Kelly on the front as they come up really rather slowly, which is all dictated by the driver on pole position. Coming through Woodcust. And looking at the gantry, the red light still on, but it'll go out in a moment. So they are taking their time about getting there. Red lights go out and they're racing and I think it's going to be Harry Webb with the yellow back end of his yellow tailgate perhaps turns into cops in the lead but going around the outside of this Matt Kelly so it's uh, virtually side by side I think as they come out of the corner and with Matt Kelly on the inside for the left hander of Megan. Let's just have a quick look, I'm pleased it took them a while to get round on the Wood Green Park wall, yes. that gives me time to get back. Harry Webber is at least, Matt Kelly in second position, James Gornell to the inside of Lewis Grant to try and take third place away, they're side by side through Beckett's corner, and James Gornell comes out with his nose ahead, but they are still side by side coming out of the corner. Fantastic first lap, but it is Harry Webb that leads the race at this stage, Matt Kelly in second place, and then a gap with everybody wanting to be third at the moment. James Gornell and Lewis Grant still side by side as they disappear out of my view up towards you. Right, so they're getting rather quick they who's on that pace lap as they arrive at Footlands now and it is that order as you said, it's uh, Harry Webb leading uh, with Matt Kelly in second place and already those two opened up the gap finally because the next three are trying to get to the field side by side, all three of them and uh, got each other's way a little bit uh, but the result is still something we'll sort out for you in a moment but as the two leaders come through Harry Webb from Matt Kelly, then quite a gap back to his third place, Lewis Grant, in fourth place, number seven, James Gornall, uh, and in fifth place, I reckon it's Gavin Pell, or is it Michael O'Brien? Uh, it's Michael O'Brien in fifth place, uh, Matt Smith is sixth, seventh is Gavin Pell, eighth is Dead Rosser, ninth is number 11, Lewis War, and the leaders are back, are they? They should be by now, with you, Mark. Yeah, back with me, we've got somebody running very, very, very wide coming out of Cox Corner and is going to slot itself back through in what I think is fifth position. Who was that that was running very, very, very wide? It was Michael O'Brien by the look of things, was 
beauty wide coming out of Cop's corner. Harry Webb leads, Matt Kelly still pressurising him in second place. Then it is going to be Lewis Grant still under pressure from what is James Gornell. And again, not only a, a hash made of Cop's corner, but also a bit of a hash made of Beckett sometime through for Michael O'Brien. So it looks as though he is going to tumble down through the order. Came past you in fifth position, I think it'll be seventh. Possibly even right. eight for the end of the lap. All right, trying too hard, perhaps, yeah. to gain the losing him instead. Uh, the two leaders are together. They haven't yet been seen caught by the next pair of Grant Gordon. Uh, but it is uh, still then Harry Webb in the lead. They from the leaders in the 15 minute race. It's the 12 lap race this. So two come Harry Webb, pursued closely by Matt Kelly. It's third place to Lewis Grant. And James Gordon is fourth. Their leader, the, the, the main pack, uh, in fifth place, Matt Smith and Zed Roster. And then they can Gavin Pell, behind Gavin Pell. Yes, down in eighth place, Michael O'Brien, uh, just ahead of number 11, Luke Wall. Uh, and then Jonathan Provost, number 10 in 10. Yeah, that's a combination of the, the error at Cops Corner and the error at Beckett's as well. So it's two for the lead, then a gap back before we see the next of the pairs, which is going to be Lewis Grant fighting away with former British GT champion James Gornell. And then it's a pack of, what, some seven or eight trucks all together being headed by Matt Smith at this stage. Going very well is Matt, who's got a few of trucks that are eagerly keen to try and work their way through a pass. James Gornell passes up at the race last time through. One minute 15.270. He's going well. Yes, it is. He is. So... This is his uh, first weekend of entry. Most of them have raced them last time out at Stetson, but this is the first weekend of racing for James Gornall, uh, the GT champion, but also the NW Compact Champion, where he came back to the race last year on a rather different level than what he was doing. Very interesting place. And we've got a lot of smoke being generated by one truck. I think it's engine spread rather than tire smoke. So we've lost one. Oh, it's reappearing now. Yes, it was. Uh, um, we'll see who it is who lips into the pit, but we've, we've lost, is it number, yeah, it's, it's uh, number 84, Gavin Pell. We kept going, in the sense that he's now rejoined the race, but uh, he had a bit of a moment in the middle of Luffield. Alright, so Gavin Pell went down towards the tail end of the field. My Gavin, I have to say that, so, yeah. Lead four with me, still as they were. Harry Webb raced one winner, looking to try and make it a double if he can. Matt Kelly with other ideas about that, however. And uh, Lewis Grant and James Gornell. Lewis Grant this time hosting the fastest lap of the race. And as for the errant truck that you were suggesting of Gavin Pell, yeah, here comes the Chandler's machine now. Truck number 84 in towards what is Beckett's corner. Long, long way of drifting near the main pack. Yes, it took him a while to reorientate himself. Uh, but he has done now, and he's got the fastest probably a bit uh, destroyed by that. The very smoky spin. So, Harry Webb comes through the complete lap four. This is Matt Kelly, who is being stressed and caught by Lewis Grant, who is taking James Gorman with him. Uh, then the next pair together, Matt Smith ahead of uh, number 15, Zed Roster. And then in seventh place, uh, we've still got number 11, number 11, Luke Wall. Uh, but now behind him is Michael O'Brien, who's not making much progress, really, is he? Number 94? No, not really, Michael O'Brien. Following those uh, couple of uh, small mistakes that he made, yeah. he's not really picking his way back up through the order once more. So Harry Webb turning his way through and past me. He's on lap number five at the moment. The top four all looking as though the gap between first and second, second to third and third to fourth are all reasonably similar. Matt Smith in fifth place, fighting away still with Glenn Broster. And we've now got a few more spots of rain appearing back on the conference oh. box window, similar to we had when the minis were out there a few moments ago. We're all right down here at the moment, but uh, the first it may get a bit slippery before the end of this race. It still uh, is, what, nine minutes away. And fifth place is still very tight, going to Brooklyn, being a bit of roster. Uh, then as you say, I'll meet while the first three are kind of dropping James Gordon. So, Harry Webb leading Matt Kelly, leading Lewis Grant, but dropping away side on that, Matt James Gordon in fourth place. But not in danger yet to be caught by the, the dueling pair of 89 Matt Smith, 15 Dead Roster. And then the next three two are headed by. I think there's eight and seven place now. Uh, Michael O'Brien ahead of number 11, Luke Ward. But the place gave by Michael O'Brien now seven.
Right, so he's slowly now he's starting to pick things up. It's sort of a trio for the lead, and then just a little bit further adrift in yeah. fourth position is James Gornell. The order not having shuffled at all, but they're still all poised and ready to pounce. Matt Kelly with a good run this time coming out of Beckett's corner, so maybe just able to gauge that there is maybe a little bit more traction than maybe the rain hitting your windscreen might tell you otherwise. So the gap is certainly closing between race leader Harry Webb and Matt Kelly in second position. Despite the fact that the car behind him, Lewis Grant, is still the fastest car that we've had so far at uh, 1 minute 15.073. Yes, compared with to the early race, Harry Webb is a 1.14.7, but that's a little bit slow now. So, yes, yeah, let's just look, guys. Just look on the inside there, Matt Kelly is going to make some luck and try and take the lead. Uh, not quite room enough to get through, so still Harry Webb hanging on in front, but under the tennis pressure now from Matt Kelly. So really just right on the, what do we call it, tailboard as they go through. His first place is Lewis Grant, James Gorn continues to fall away slightly. The next five running close together, still headed by, uh, no, now headed by Glenn Ross, as I say, he's got ahead of Matt Smith, the 15 Glenn Ross is now fifth, sixth is uh, Matt Smith, seventh is uh, Michael O'Brien, and he's just done the fastest lap of the race. That time through. Well, as we said, that Michael O'Brien wasn't sort of picking people off and getting back on with it following his mistakes. He's just clearly listening because he's done uh, exactly that since he said it. The gap for the lead of the race is close as it's been now in reality. Harry Webb under pressure from Mack and he's looking to try and get the overlap on the way coming out of what is Beckett's corner. Can't quite do it. So from trying to get side by side, he tucks back behind the race leader again, trying to pick up a slipstream of which more than capable of doing in these machines. Not the most aerodynamic things, but the racing's been superb from them so far. It has been very good, hasn't it? Yes. So, Harry Webb still in front, is he, is he coming to Brooklyn? Yes, he is, he runs rather wide there, that's giving Matt Kelly an open door to drive through, but of course his efforts on the outside line for Nuffield, and the result is that he can't actually make it work, so uh, he's still second, but that was uh, Harry Webb going a bit too deep into Brooklyn, went on the very wide line, uh, and uh, Matt Kelly for his chance, went to the left, but uh, of course put him on the outside for following right back to Nuffield. Uh, Lewis Grant watching the fun from a short distance back as James Gordon continuing to gradually drop back. Now then, as he goes down to the top corner, uh, Matt Kelly again for the inside line, but not quite able to uh, make his way through. Uh, behind Glenn Ross is Pierce to uh, Michael O'Brien now up into sixth place, so another base game at the expense of Matt Smith. Michael O'Brien sixth. Matt's been dropping down to the order. Michael O'Brien slowly picking up the places, and is Matt Kelly going to have a challenge for the lead of the race? No, not this time as they head in towards Beckett's for the eighth time. So it's still Harry Webb, race winner, but Matt Kelly really nails the apex at Beckett's corner and has drawn himself absolutely alongside Harry Webb for the lead of the race. Harry is on the left-hand side of the circuit, the all-important inside line for Brooklyn's corner, but Matt Kelly is absolutely door-handle to door-handle with him this time as they head up towards the top section of the Wellington Strait and into your site at Brooklyn's. Right then, what's going to happen this time at Brooklyn's? Harry Webb under intense pressure, but has the lead still, and tight in the line is back, Kelly has it on the previous level of the door, the gap wasn't wide and wide, he gets it on the inside, slightly gets almost level, there's five by five, five they come out of the field, and uh, Matt Kelly has the inside line, but Harry Webb is a match for this, he can hang on in the lead just about, and whilst they're scrapping amongst themselves, there is Grant has joined in, he's right up there with them as well, but as they go over the line, it is on the inside line, heading towards the top corner, Matt Kelly, on the left is Harry Webb, they're side by side, getting a great toe behind the Lewis Grant, he's up there in as well, and Matt Kelly takes the lead, going into the top corner, so Matt Kelly has worked his way into the front. Matt Kelly, after several laps of trying, has got the lead from Harry Webb, and uh, Lewis Grant is now one to watch out for as well, because he's right there with them. Yeah, well, absolutely, we've got five for the lead, and James Cornell's managed to catch up as well, so Matt Kelly, runner-up in the race earlier on, this morning, now takes up the lead of the race. Harry Webb, race one winner, down into second position. Lewis Grant, who's done great things so far uh, uh, at Snetterton in this series. He's got a couple of wins at Snetterton. He's there in third place. And James Cornell making his debut in this series, sitting there in fourth place. So four for the lead. Then there's a big, big gap before we see the next five all very much together as they're at the bottom section of the Wellington Strait. You've got the race leaders. Here they come then. Just call a glimpse of the roof as they head towards. Uh, Brooklyn's, it's, uh, yes, very tight indeed. It's, it's uh, uh, two plus two, I would say now, because I think dropping back a little bit is Harry Webb. Wait to see how things, uh, well, not Harry Webb, I mean, it's uh, fourth place James Gornel. Uh, not quite in touch with the other three, but uh, the first three touch through there, and we've got time for several more maps, three more, more maps, three more maps, three So, Matt Kelly leads over the line for the first time in the race, and this is lap nine for the Harry Webb second, and in third place of his glance side line but couldn't find it. Fourth James Gornall and uh, then in fifth place is Michael O'Brien ahead of Glenn Ross. Now so Michael O'Brien that's the 
Jordan is going to get one unless the four ahead of him uh, have problems. So here comes the leading trio as it is, as you suggested again, James Cornell not quite upon the surface of them this time through. Matt Kelly, Harry Webb, then Lewis Graham, three and one turn their way through Beckett. Three minutes of the race still to go, they're on lap number 10, and Matt Kelly looking to try and maintain what is a very slender advantage so far in this race. We haven't seen Matt win a race so far, he's going to have to stick his elbows out I think if he wants to try and claim the top step of the podium because Harry Webb and Lewis Graham are absolutely still in his wheel tracks. But Matt is a very experienced and successful racer, so he'll uh, have all the experience and pace to hang on in front from young Harry Webb behind him and Lewis Grant, some of the youngsters. Matt, what he'd like to be reminded of, is the oldest state, the oldest state uh, amongst the first four drivers uh, in his later. Now it comes to complete uh, lap 10, uh, and Harry Webb still second, Lewis Grant, the uh, James Gordon will have a bit really now. Face. And uh, Michael O'Brien, other than the youngsters, he's flying along now, having I mean, worked his way through. Suddenly he's come alive. Don't think he's going to catch James Gordon before the end, but he could have. The race is going. He's done another new fast lap. Michael O'Brien. He really has uh, had a race of two halves, hasn't he? Yeah. Not a very good first part of the race, but yeah, just getting quicker and quicker and quicker. Up towards me for what should be the penultimate time of the race this time through. Matt Kelly still continuing to lead, still closing onto his coattail is Harry Webb. Harry clips the apex beautifully at Beckett's corner, but again, just can't get close enough to race leader Matt Kelly. Any mistake from him at all, and Lewis Grant is there as well, so three for the lead of the race. James Cornell now very much on his own in fourth position. Fifth place, as you suggested, is Michael O'Brien, and a great battle going on for sixth at the moment. Glenn Broster fighting away with Matt Smith. You've got the race leaders for the penultimate time. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Well, yes, sir. Then Ross and Matt Smith started the race dueling and they're carrying on the race dueling. Now the leading trio going into the field. And Matt Kelly just about has the advantage over Harry Webb and Lewis Grant. And as they come through, yes, they'll be shot in their last lap this time around. So Matt Kelly is using as much as the Corvo car. Strom in second place. Harry Webb, Lewis Grant in third place. Uh, tries to go to the right, then to the left of Harry Webb, and Harry weaves around to make sure there's no way through. Uh, and the gap between James Gorman and uh, Michael O'Brien comes in half in one lap, so another new part of that by uh, Michael O'Brien. What was delayed in the early laps anyway? Michael O'Brien uh, setting another new part of that, uh, and he could just about catch James Gorman on his last lap of the race he's going. Then drops the sixth, seventh, match fifth, eighth, eighth is Jonathan Thomas, uh, ninth and tenth are the two. Uh, wars. Uh, number 11, Luke War, and number 22, Simon War. So the flag will be ready to greet them next time around. And waiting for them to appear as they are coming down the straight, and we'll see you clearly again. Uh, side by side for second place, uh, and I think he's got through, has he? No, they're side by side, this is the second place. Uh, Harry Webb and Lewis Grant. And Harry Webb is back ahead of the command of the field, but not ahead of the race as a whole, because that's still led by Matt Kelly, and Matt shouldn't make a mistake. Now all he's got to do is sort of make as hard as he can through Woodford Corner, up to the checkered flag, and uh, this wave is so his first of the year for Matt Kelly, and for second place, and his second place goes to Harry Webb, Lewis Grant is third, James Gordon does hang on to the fourth place, but another new fast attack on the last lap by uh, Michael O'Brien, brings him to within one second of James Gordon went the flag. He was really, really him in all the way. But uh, what happened to Michael in the early stages? Uh, in sixth place, Zed Rosser, seventh Matt Smith. That was the way those two, uh, that duel ends up. Zed Rosser ahead of Matt Smith. Jonathan Thomas, eighth. Uh, ninth and tenth, uh, Luke War and Simon War. Uh, eleventh, uh, number eight for Archie's Spin the Subfield, Gavin Pell. And bringing up the rear, number. Nine, Natalie Burke. Well, as the drivers were saying after the early race, it's fun, this San Yong racing. It's not a championship this year, it's a challenge, but it's enough. And one of them said, wouldn't it be good if uh, another dozen or so joined in, and we'd have a really good series for a, a championship next year.